Good evening, people. Um, it's Thursday. Sorry to make a video on Wednesday, but um, I have physical therapy and I got physical therapy tomorrow too. I just want to talk about trying to stay positive, trying to stay motivated. Um, having a stroke really affects the way your your brain works and it makes you get really emotional at times. And anytime, I don't know, either way. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys what it's taken me from wheelchair to walking and standing better. These are some of the exercises I've done, okay? So what we're going to start off with is um, sit and stands. And we're going to do it with the resistance bands because with your affected set, I'm sure it flops over. Like where it just wants to just kick out. So what we're going to do is put the resistance band between our leg, uh, over our legs, I'm sorry. So, I'm going to put this over one, one foot. I'm not trying to get kinky or nothing, so don't think like that. This is just to keep the legs from flopping out, okay? And you want to do sit and stands with it on. And we got it past the knees, just a couple of inches over the knees, okay? And so what we want to do is sit at the edge of whatever you got safely. And I do have my walker with me just to show you that I have evolved, but I'm going to have it right next to me because I want to make a point about how to do things, okay? And how to evolve from getting from the wheelchair to standing up and sitting down and doing the proper stuff like that, okay? So what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna start off slow, get to the edge where you're gonna be at, and you always want your nose about over toes, okay, when you do this, or try your best to get there. Because that way you're using your gravity, you're using your body motion, your body weight to get over, it helps you that way if you don't have say if you don't have your walker with you and you want to just start standing up and you don't have a, like a grab handle or, or like a chair with the arm or something like that so if you go with nose over the toes you have more weight over your feet so there we go okay with the resistance bands can keep your legs from flopping out like i said okay we're going to do 10 of these two sets of 10 okay I want to go through some of the motions that kind of help me to get better, okay? Thank you for watching tonight. One. Okay, I messed up on that one. Let's start all over on that one. Like I said, nose over toes. One. Two. If you're not comfortable with it, that's what I pulled out the, the walker for. You want to have it next to you just in case. I'm going to show you what's the difference. Like if you just try to pop up, if you don't have leg strength, what's going to happen? You're just going to be like looking for something. Like I have enough leg strength to do it though. But like when I first started, I could not do it at all. And that was without the resistant band. But my leg used to flop out, which I almost fell over that way. But since I've been doing more and I've been strengthening my, my, my other side, plus I've been strengthening my other side both legs because you want to keep it using your your affected leg as much as possible you don't want to avoid it because these are the exercises that are going to help you to get better okay if you want to start walking you got to start using it you got to do what you can you got to exercise that side that has been used in a long time okay so like i said nose over toes when you do that your body wants to roll forward if you don't feel comfortable, do it. You just grab your walker. But we're going to do this stuff without doing with all those kind of things, okay? All right. So, like I said, nose over toes makes it so much better. And you don't want to just pop your butt down. You want to have control going up and going control going down, okay? So, we'll count that as two. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you what the difference is without having the resistant band on, okay? And I did take off my knee brace. I'm having trouble taking off this resistant band right now. There we go. I do have my FO brace on. Okay. Like I said, we're going to stick with nose over the toes, okay? And I do not have my resistant band on. So what happens when you don't have it on, your leg wants to just flop out, you know? Okay, like I said, set the edge. You got to remember, like, if you don't have a chair with arms or anything to hold on to. But if you need to have your walker nearby, okay? Always have your safety devices by you. If you need assistance, get somebody to assist you. Okay, nose over toes. See, it's a bunch, of, it is different when you don't have the resistant band because it doesn't keep your legs closed. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's two sets of ten. And like I said, I don't have a resistant band on. And I only have my airflow brace on. So my knee could buckle right now because I don't have my knee brace. But let's go ahead and do some. Since we did those already. Let's go ahead and um. Let's go back here with this. I didn't have the Pilates ring before. But what I was using was that, that softball. Which is a little bit difficult for me to get. You remember all blue balls. This is before I got my um the Pilates ring, okay? So we're gonna go with the blue ball in between the legs. This is what started me out to get better with this, okay? So what you want to do here, you put it between the legs. Make sure you have your feet in a good position first. Pretty much like nose over toes, okay? Position them right so your foot doesn't just skip out. Sit at the edge of the bed. And what you want to do is squeeze and hold it for 10 seconds or longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Remember, don't drop the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. And this is going to help strengthen your inner thighs. This is going to help you when you're sitting like on the toilet or you're sitting in a chair that you're not comfortable with. Because you're going to go to places where you're not always comfortable. You're not always in your, always the same chair you're always going to be in. This is going to help strengthen up the inner thighs. Because all your effective side gets really weak. Okay, squeeze the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three. One. See how the foot wants to slip out? Because what's going on is you don't have a lot of weight over that foot. So you want to try to put more weight on your affected say, so it doesn't skip out because it's just basically you don't have no control over it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I think that's four, right? Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Okay, that's two, that's one set of ten, I'm sorry. And my whole point is just trying to show you things that I went through to strengthen up my legs. And it's still not the strongest. I still do these exercises. And I go to physical therapy and I do other kind of exercises. Stuff where they assist me and they put the gate belt on me on and make sure I don't fall. And that does help me. And um, I just want to tell you guys to stay positive. Just remember, the more you move now is going to help you in the long run. So you got to put the time in right now. That way you get in the long run, you'll start getting better, okay? Let's go ahead and do one more set of 10. We're going to make a short video tonight. It's not going to be nothing major. Remember to have weight over your effect thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And try not to cheat with your good leg and try to do it. You want to try using your effective side too to squeeze it in. If anything, try to squeeze your effective side towards your good side, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three. Or that's four, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. And my dog, Peavy. She always watches me when I do my workouts when I'm outside doing them or inside. And she just wants to play. We're playing before I did this video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Okay, I don't know if I did the count right. I got sidetracked. But those are some of the majority of the exercises I was doing just to help me out. What we're going to do right now, I'm going to do some toe testers. This wasn't really what helped me out, but I, I believe it did help get my balance. So if I do fall down or I do get got to get back up, it helps you control things. I don't remember, I don't have my knee brace on, so I do have my walker right by me because I have no other grab handles, okay? So what we're going to do is do some toe touches. That's going to build the back of the hamstrings too, okay? Or the hamstrings, and what that was, the ball was for, for your inner thighs, okay? So I'm going to put my hands in praying position. Jesus, please look after me and my family and look after me and my dog, PB, and... Just keep us all healthy and safe and tell the people out there, you guys, I want you guys to do better, and I pray for you guys, too, to get better. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, hands in praying position. Hold it there for like five seconds. Sorry, I know I said I was going to hold it dead for like 5-10 seconds, but I'm just going to go through my video really quick. I just want you guys to get the point. 
you guys ain't feeling safe doing that, just hold on to this when you guys are doing it, okay? You don't have to go all the way down. Remember, this is my affected side. I'm sure you guys see it just flopping around. But anyways, this will help build your balance. This will help you keep you stable from left to right. What else you want to do too is you want to do swing back and forth. Get your body used to doing it. You want to probably use your, your walker when you're doing this. So that way, just in case when you're going back and forth, try to... What this is going to do is help you to put more weight on your affected set, okay? You want to start getting your affected set used to that kind of weight transfer. Hopefully you guys don't need to wear a knee brace. If you guys do, wear it on this one, okay? I'm just going through a couple of quick things with you guys. I just want to show you that anything's possible. All this is right now is you got to put your mind towards what you want to do. And then you got to do it. I know it's not going to be easy, but you just got to do it. Be positive and think it and do it. You can achieve it if you just keep trying and trying. And eventually you'll get better. Because you remember one of my first videos, I was in the wheelchair saying, rolling in again. I'm walking in now. Don't get me wrong, I put a lot of work into it. I should have did a lot more work then when I should have, but I was too busy feeling sorry for myself or something, I guess. I'm sure you guys go through some emotional things too, having a stroke. Anyways, we're not going to get into all that. We're staying positive. So what we want to do, lean over. Lean over towards your effect to say. Try to get comfortable with that. And after a while, you'll be able to do it without anything. You probably won't go as far. You don't want to go too far. You want to get used to this. Make sure you've got something to hold on to when you're doing this because you will lose your balance. Because I think when you have a stroke, it affects your equilibrium and stuff. Pee, watch out, P. Move. Move. I'll leave it short and quick for you guys tonight, okay? Um, I thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to make a point about just certain exercises will help you to get better for your walking. You guys have a blessed night. Good night, okay? Thank you.